What's up, guys? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and welcome back to a new episode of Hey, What the Hell I Got. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is going to be actually a diecast haul video, guys. If you guys saw my uh, community post on YouTube and also on my Instagram and Twitter, uh, you guys might know that the Chevrolet Camaro Z01 1LE cars are finally out. And uh, let's just say uh, this might be probably what we're looking for, guys. So I can't really say this could be a surprising haul video, but this gave me my, my first look and analysis of these diecasts. If they are these, I mean, but yeah, I did got these from Plan B Sales. And plus, since my good friends Race Day 2011 and Diecast Buffet also, you know, got some shipment of Diecast, uh, I decided to go in and join in on the ball on this. So I already got this sucker pre opened. So, boop, there we go. <laughs> like a jack in a box. And yeah, I actually ordered uh, four cars, and all of them are all the new Chevrolet. So. Oh man, I'm actually really excited to see what these new Chevrolet molds look like, guys, because we weren't expecting to get them until, like, um, I don't know, I would say around July or so, but here we guys go. Oh man, that is a nice looking car right there. Um, trying to see if there's any flaws on this yet. Uh, well, I mean, we're going to get more onto the diecast review, but here's the first one we got right here. We got Austin Dillon's 2020 Dow. And no, I'm not trying to be like Homer Simpson. That is the Austin Dillon Dow Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 1LE. Uh, pretty odd that they don't have the the 1LE on uh, the tag, but oh well. I mean, I'm not, you know, <laughs> it, 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 imperfect boxes don't really come, don't really, you know, bug me. But really cool looking box. Uh, kind of looks like uh, that this is uh, the, the traditional uh, box design that we got for this year, but really cool. I do like the font and the. Uh, I mean, still not a big fan of the gray colors, but, you know, at least they change the boxes every year. Um, look at that reflection. Woo! Look at that. It's like an Inception. You can see the car within the car, within the car, within the car. Okay, I'm definitely mind-tripping you guys now, but that is really cool. Um, actually, I do want to unbox this to actually just uh, look at the, to, to actually look at the ZL1 diecast, uh, just to see, you know, what the difference is. I will be doing... Um, proper side-by-side -side comparisons of the Z of of the Camaros uh for each of these die casts and wow guys this is actually really nice guys um I already tell right off the bat that yeah that front is it's very uh flat and curvy I mean just look at that guys that is a very unique looking uh front end I mean I know my camera I'm trying to zoom in on my face but I'm trying to get it to zoom in on that Camaro but what a really cool diecast guys got the cup series logo uh, i don't know why the cup series and 3m logos are like not centered right where the a pillar is but oh well i mean just look at the quantities of those contingencies it's going down every year i'm still not a big fan of those tires uh, with, with how they printed it um just yeah but this is something a lot of people loved uh, we got the updated chevrolet camaro headlights um and the big spoilers the big spoilers have returned so that is really cool so Definitely am looking forward to doing a review of this car, guys. I mean, it is, and the, this paint scheme looks so much better with the, because uh, you guys remember last year's actually had the red number three, and they ended up changing this scheme <laughs> to, uh, towards like, well, like the second and third race. So technically, he drove this car in 2019 as well, but hey, this is a 2020 car, and uh, my God, that is pretty beautiful, um, to say it the least. But um, yeah, so far, so good, guys. I really do like that die cast. Let's get on to the next one, shall we? And, uh, ooh, <laughs> oh man, uh, this is going to be a quite controversial and possibly rare car. We got to uh, send our condolences to, you know, the guy who drove the 42 car this year, Kyle Larson. This is his 2020 Credit One Bank car. So, yeah, um, as I pointed out uh, on, uh, on the Diecast News, but actually, uh, actually, I did not upload a new episode of the Diecast News yet, but on my next episode of the Diecast News, which will be this week, um, there are some Larson diecasts that got canceled, but this one actually made it through the production line. His primary scheme, the Credit One Bank car. And um, yeah, guys, this is a very unique looking car. It's probably going to be rare <laughs> in the not so distant future, considering um, we're not going to probably have another Larson car released uh, ever, because we all know the situation that happened. But um, yeah, what a. <laughs> this is going to be. That's going to be quite a controversial diecast review, but I'll try my best to. Uh, um, especially in the comments, I'll try to keep everything to a minimum of degree. And wow, this car actually has a glossy finish. It is a lot more glossier. Like, you know, most of the Ganassi cars, like, are have that matte finish. 
this is very glossy. Like, the gloss is, like, I don't know. I mean, um, I kind of got mixed feelings about that. And, uh, wow, I mean, that is just really glossy. Can't say it's a bad thing, though. But they just, they just look how much more rounder and smoother that front end looks, guys. I mean, my God. I mean, that is just beautiful right there. That Camaro mold. And, uh, ooh, my God, we got some decal folding right there where that C is. I mean, my God, it almost looks like uh, someone took white out where the C and the R is. Just, Jesus, line of quality you got right there. And, oh, what the hell happened to the spoiler right there? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> holy crap i have never seen a paint chip that big before ever <gasps> holy crap plan b cells <laughs> wow it's so big you actually, you actually see the molding of the of the of the uh, big spoiler i mean look at that you actually see the die cast mold wow that is a chunk and there's even a hair on this die cast too jesus louise i mean that is probably the king of paint chips right there guys i mean look at that you can see it in the front and the rear my God, that is just, whew, I know. You're killing me with these die casts. Killing me. <laughs> Besides the horrible quality, uh, the molds are pretty damn cool. All right, we got two more to showcase in this haul. Really excited to do these die cast reviews. We got ourselves yet another Rich Stokes racing car, and this is a car that I actually didn't talk about last year with Daniel Hemricks. I almost picked this car up at Walker's Glen, but I thought about it, I'm like, ah, eh, I'll get next year's, which was Tyler Reddick's. Long behold, for hold. I mean, look at that, guys. We had Tyler Reddick's uh, primary car, the Caterpillar Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 1LE. Uh, the yellow looks a lot more brighter on camera than what it actually is, but hey, I don't mind that, considering, you know, I'm already dicked out on the yellow today. <laughs> but, um, my God, guys, another cool-looking die cast. Uh, some people might not get this die cast since it's basically, paint scene wise it's the same as Reddick's, but... Um, heck, this is the first time we ever got a Tyler Reddick 164 die cast, um, and then along with his, um, car that's going to be released in Wave 2, um, with the Kill Switch Engage car. Let's go and get this car out of the box. Uh, my god, guys, I really do like this Caterpillar scheme. It definitely, uh, especially the front end of this, um, ooh, my god, that is, again, the gloss and the smooth front end looks really cool. It's not as pointed. I mean, at first, I was like, okay, there's not really much of a big difference. But, guys, you actually do see the different mold when you have it in person. That's why I wanted to show you guys this. I mean, of course, there's going to be more detailed, a more detailed review of this in the not so distant future. Because um, you guys know me. I want to do those comparisons for you guys. Because that, that that's what's going to get you guys to go out and buy these cars. Because um, I will say, these were pretty much worth the wait. I will say that. Now, question is, is there any flaws? Uh, well, it looks like the side skirt right there. It looks like it's starting to, starting to eat its way out, but hey. <laughs> but, um, another solid looking choice. I mean, uh, and it's just me as that front end kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, the Bill Davis racing Caterpillar cars or Jeff Bernardo, the cat Caterpillar car. I don't know. I mean, I'm definitely getting some vibes from that. Would be a good idea for a Darth throwback car. I will say that. All right. And the last car to be talking about, which is actually a different paint scheme for this year. And this one I'm actually really excited for. Um, and a lot of people are actually are looking forward to do, to do this diecast review. Um, we got William Byron's 2020 Hertz Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 and 1LE. Uh, right now, guys, this is a beautiful looking paint scheme, guys. It is um, really nice and just, uh, my God. I mean, that dandelion yellow. The Bumblebee car makes a return. And my God, guys, it definitely lives up to its original form. The Hertz scheme is a lot more cleaned up. And being on this new 1LE, um, uh, the ZL1 1LE mold looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, again, props to the line, though, with the box design. I am absolutely liking that. Um, just me, this font kind of looks like the same font that Die Cuts Buffet used. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they took some, some inspiration by that. Just saying. <laughs> but going to unbox this bad boy right here. All right. And I am going to unbox this uh, with my very abnormal size fingers. And here's the die cast right here, guys. Of course, the yellow is on point. And, okay, what the hell's that? Why is there a huge gap between the two and the four? Ooh, I don't know about that, guys. This might, That might turn to a rant review now. That is very noticeable. Is that supposed to be normal, guys? The, t the two and the four? I don't know. That is really odd. But my God, guys, I mean, the, the Camaro mold looks really nice on this, uh, especially with the pinstripe design. I mean, it's a lot more different than uh, the uh, Chase Elliott uh, design that a lot of people were comparing this car to. But uh, 
my god look at that back guys that looks really cool uh, with the camaro and zl1 1le branding um decals are a little screwy but nothing too bad but my god and that beautiful cup series logo guys i uh, forgot to point that out yeah we got cup series logos on the 164s don't know where we get the windshield banners because apparently we are we are going to have them for the uh for these types of cars not for nascar authentics because otherwise there's gonna be a price difference um but yeah, guys, absolutely do love these diecasts, guys. Feel free to comment below which diecast do you guys want me to review first. As uh, my God, guys, I mean these uh, Chevrolet Camaro uh, diecast were definitely. I, I will say they were worth the wait, guys. They 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 definitely were. I mean, it's besides that Larson car. But um, as you guys can tell, I definitely do got some really cool diecast uh, stuff to review. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and you know sign off right now for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this diecast haul of what I got from Plan B Sales. The Camaro molds are here and I'm looking forward to uh, review them for you guys on my diecast reviews and also on the new episode of the diecast news. So stay tuned for both of those as this has been OBB, the diecast news guy. And uh, so long for now, everybody.